and welcome to another video. In today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make this awesome cowl. It's big, it's bold and it's beautiful. I'd like to say a huge thank you to redheart.com for supplying the yarn that we've used in this project. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Selena from Simply Collectible Crochet for allowing me to use her ribbon pattern and make a video tutorial for you. Go and check out the other patterns that Selena has, they are absolutely gorgeous and definitely worth a look. I do have other tutorials that I have made of Selena's and I will put the links that you need in the description box and also in the more info section that pops up on the screen on the right hand side. Make sure you subscribe because we have video tutorials coming out all the time. You can join us on Facebook and over on Instagram. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we're going to need some yarn. In the written pattern it does say to use Red Heart Reflective. You're going to need four in the peacock and four in the grey. This is a bulky weight yarn or a number five, uh, category five. I don't have any of that yarn. I've got two of the grey but I don't have enough to make this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute it with the Red Heart Super Saver. But it is a thinner yarn so your project is going to come out smaller it's going to come out not as wide and won't be as long in the opening so just bear that in mind if you're going to substitute your yarn for me that's fine I don't mind if it comes out a little bit smaller because this is a quite a big project and yeah for me it's going to be fine if you're going to use double knit or an eight ply yarn which I think is about a category three yarn you could use double together. In my sample that you see at the beginning of this video, my finished project, I did use two, two strands of DK yarn or an 8 ply yarn or category 3 and I held them together. So I'm just going to show you this yarn. This is actually a worsted weight yarn but I'll just pretend they're the thinner ones. And I used two at the same time. So when I worked I just used two strands, held them together and I used a six millimeter crochet hook which is this one here I think that's about a J size crochet hook if that's wrong I'll put just across the screen here to let you know so I used two strands of DK and then I used my six millimeter crochet hook I do have loose tension so if you find that it's not loose enough then just go up a bigger size crochet hook but for today's project in today's video I am going to be using one strand of worsted weight yarn like I said this is thinner than the yarn in the project so if you're using the uh, reflective yarn it's going to be a lot thicker than this and in the uh, written pattern I'm not sure if I've said this already you need a 8 millimeter or an L size crochet hook or a US size 11 if you're going to be using the red heart reflective because it's the bulky yarn you are going to need a bigger crochet hook for that we're also going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle for sewing in your ends. You will need a large eye because you are going to be using thick yarn and then the crochet hook that you're going to use. So if you're using worsted weight, I would suggest a 6mm or J size crochet hook. Um, if you're using the bulky yarn, you'll, you'll need an 8mm or an L size crochet hook and the DK two strands together. I'd suggest probably a six millimeter as well for that. So let's put this aside. Sorry about all the talking then but um, just want to let you know that you can substitute your yarn. Um, you could use two strands of the unforgettable yarn together. That would that would work. It would be a thinner project but it would and come out smaller. Um, I'm just having a look at the pattern to see if it's got any measurements. Oh it does. So the approximate measurements when using the yarn in the ribbon pattern, so that is the reflective yarn, the length will be 96 inches and the width will be 22 inches. So it is quite a big project but it's lovely and squishy and you can just um, just wrap yourself up in it and be really cosy. So I'm just grabbing my yarn here. So I will be using the yellow. This is Red Heart Super Saver and it is in the colour Lemon. And then my contrast colour, I'm not going to need very much because I'm going to be making a smaller version for the, the video tutorial. 
Uh, it's petal pink in the Red Heart Super Saver. That's my contrast colour. Because this project is so big, if I try to make this in front of the camera, it's going to be sort of gymnastics, crochet gymnastics in front of the camera, and it's not going to work very well at all. You can't see off camera, but my yarn is not behaving itself. <laughs> it's all over the shop. Okay, so I'm just going to chop the end of this off. It's a bit yucky. So that I'm going to make a smaller version, but all you'll need to do is just go along with the pattern. So in the pattern it says round one using the peacock, so that is the blue, yep that is the blue yarn if you're using the same yarn that's in the pattern. We are going to chain one, so let's just make our slip knot first. And if you want to get a copy of the ribbon pattern, which I suggest that you do because we will be following along with it, you can find it on Simply Collectible Crochet and I'll put a link for you and I'll put the name of the website across the screen and yeah put a link for you so you can grab your written pattern and there are so many pretty written patterns on Selena's website um, I've done some of these patterns her patterns before I've got a couple of cows actually no I've got one cow at this stage and also the beautiful I think it was Coraline shawl it's made in the Red Heart Unforgettable. It's gorgeous. And I wear that all the time. And every time I wear it, I actually get comments saying how gorgeous it is. So I will put those links in for you. And if just up here, a little information thing is going to pop up. If you click on that, that will take you to the video tutorials for the patterns that I've just mentioned. So that you can see other written patterns and tutorials by the same designer. It's okay. We're going to chain one. And we're going to use the foundation half double crochet and we need to make 225 foundation half double crochets that sounds like a lot that is a lot <laughs> but this is what makes this project so awesome it makes it nice and big and cozy and yeah I cannot wait to wear this during winter at the moment it's um, not winter it's summer when I'm filming this but it doesn't matter I'll be ready for the cold weather so we're going to do foundation half double crochet so we've done our chain one, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the first chain and make our first foundation stitch. Go into the chain, let's just zoom in slightly, you pull up a loop and you want to make your chain first. So we're going to do our chain, so just do a chain with that first loop, grab hold of your chain or put a stitch marker in there if you've never done this before, yarn over and pull through all three. If you need a more detailed video, I will put a video link for you to do the foundation half double crochet. Um, because it does take a... Jeez, my teeth are not in today. It takes a little bit to learn this method, but once you get it, it's really handy. So into the chain that you just made, which is there, you're going to go into there. So you're going to yarn over, sorry. Yarn over. Go into there. Pull up a loop. Make a chain with that first loop. Yarn over and through all three. Yarn over, go into that first chain, which is just here. And like I said, there is a video that's more detailed and it gives you lots of um, hints and tips on how to get this figured out properly because it is a little bit tricky sometimes. You're going to mark your chain stitch, so you're going to put a stitch marker in that chain and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three and when you go to do your next part yarn over go into the chain this mark stitch is right there sitting looking at you and it's easier to figure it out if you've never done it before do your chain yarn over pull through all three and as we go along we're working our chain and our stitch so for this one it's a half double crochet as we go I'm sorry if I seem a little bit anxious this is my first video for 2017 and I have not filmed since the beginning of December and it's now the beginning of February <laughs> you think I wouldn't be nervous but for some reason I am okay so we're going to go along until we have 225 of these I'm going to make a smaller version just for the video tutorial because remember how I said crochet gymnastics yeah it's not going to work with big projects in front of the camera because my filming space is not very big 
Okay, so I'm going to go off screen and I'm going to continue on until I have quite a lot of these and then I'll be back. Pause the video and I'll see you there. So altogether you will have 225 foundation half double crochets and the chain one from the beginning and altogether that makes 226 stitches. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the chain and we're going to form a loop. I've only made 28 stitches just for the demonstration purposes. I have the chain one and then 27 foundation half double crochets. Like I said, it's just easier for me to fit it in front of the camera. But if you wanted to make yours a different size, you could make you need the so the amount of stitches that you need need to be a even number. So that's a number that can be divided by two. Because if you have different sized yarn that you're substituting it for, you may need to have a different amount of stitches. So make sure that it's not twisted. You're going to lay it so it's all the same direction. You're going to lay it flat and then you're going to join it around at the top there. Let me just take this out. You'll lay it flat. Yours will be a lot bigger than mine, of course. And you want to make sure that when it joins, it's all laying flat. So that was joined. When you look at it, it's all facing the same direction. So put that back on there. Make sure it's all facing the same direction. And we're going to join to the very first chain, which is just there. I'm just going to zoom in slightly. So that was our first foundation half double crochet with the two loops there. And then next to that is the chain one. We're going to join in there. Let's see if we can go through two loops. Oops. I don't know if that's even possible, but no, it's not. So we're just going to go into the chain and then join with a slip stitch. Make sure the slip stitch disappears. And round two, it says chain three. Skip one, so skip one stitch, which is our very first foundation half double crochet. And then double crochet and chain one. And we're going to do that in the next stitch. So yarn over. So we're going to skip the first stitch. In the next one, we are going to work a double crochet. And chain one. And it says repeat from star to star 111 times. So we're going to go back to where the star and it says skip one. So skip a stitch into the next stitch, work double crochet and chain one. And we're repeating this all the way around. Skip a stitch, double crochet into the next, chain one. Skip, double crochet, chain one. And that's what it's going to look like as we work our way around. So you want to work all your way around and I'll meet you when we are ready to join and ready to start row three. When we get to the end, we've got one stitch left. We're going to skip that one and it says to join to the second chain with a slip stitch. So we're going to look at our chain here. We've got one, two, three going to go to the second one and we're going to do a slip stitch. So I like to go under two loops if I can and it just makes a secure join and doesn't pull up a big loop in there and make a big hole. So we're going to slip stitch, we're going to make sure it's tight and that's what it's going to look like at the end of round two. You can see our chain one spaces. Of course yours is going to be ooh, a lot bigger make this into a bracelet. Yours will be a lot bigger but you'll still have the foundation chain and also the row there that we've just done. So row 3 it says row 3 to 13 repeat row 2 and you'll have 113 double crochets and 113 chain 1 spaces. So you'll have 113 double crochets and 113 chain 1s. 
So we're going to repeat that. So what we need to do is let's go back to row two. Sorry, round two. It's a round because it's joined and worked in the round. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip a stitch. So we're going to skip the chain one and double crochet into the next. So our double crochets will be on top of our double crochets. So going into there, on top of the double crochet, chain one. It's going to skip the chain one. Uh, yeah, sorry, skip the chain one and then double crochet in the next. So now it's really easy and you know exactly where you've got to put your stitch. Chain one, go to the next double crochet, do a double crochet, chain one, next double crochet. Just going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Double crochet, chain one, skip that one, go into the top of the double crochet and repeat that around. And you can see that it starts to stack up on top of each other here, the double crochets. So work your way around and I'll meet you when we're ready to join. So pause the video and I'll see you there. So we're ready to join. I've got my chain one that I've just done up there. We're going to skip here and we're going to join and just what the instruction said before, into the second chain. So we've got one, two, three. Second one is just there. Sorry, one, two, three. That's the second one. Grab that loop there and then also that loop at the back. Which is proving to be, there we go, a little bit hard. And we're going to pull through and we make sure, make sure this is pulled tight. Sorry, everything on my desk is falling off. What's going on? <laughs> oh dear. Make sure you've pulled the slip stitch tight, otherwise you're going to have this little loop sitting like that. So just give it a tug and it will disappear. And we're going to repeat round two again. So chain three. Skip over to the next double crochet and double crochet and chain one into that double crochet. Next double crochet. So repeat this around and we're going to repeat this until we have 13 rows and that's 13 rows in total. So round one is your foundation half double crochet, round two, round three, and we're just starting round four. Continue on until you have 13 and then I will show you what to do. That's what it's looking like so far. Of course yours is going to be a lot bigger, but it's looking cool. I love this mesh bit. It looks really cool. Once you have 13 rounds all together, you're going to change to the grey. Just for the video, I am going to do three of the mesh. So that's four rounds in total. We're going to finish off our first colour. And you can sew in your ends now or do it later. And we're going to join in our contrast colour, which in the pattern is the grey reflective yarn by Red Heart. And where we just finished off, so just here in that stitch, that is where we're going to join our new colour. Just going to put that on there. We're just pulling through the yarn. I'm going to leave about two to three inches at the back so you can sew it in later. And after we've joined our second colour in, which is our contrast colour, it says round 14 to 25, using the grey, repeat round 2 and you'll have 113 double crochets and 113 chain 1 spaces. So we're just repeating what we did on round 2 or what we did on all the previous rounds. So we're going to chain 3, let's just pull that down. One, two, three. The first chain I did was just to secure it in and I just pull that down so it actually disappears. So now we only have three chains and we are going to skip a stitch and then work the double crochet. 
you already know what you're doing because we've just done this for 13 rounds. Well, technically 12. <laughs> Skip, double crochet in the next one. And make sure you're doing your chain one after your double crochet because if you don't, this is only a practice piece so it doesn't matter. See how I've missed it there? It's going to show up. You're going to have this lovely space and then no space there. I purposely left that there so I could show you on the next one around. And you'll see when I do this round it will look even more weird. And I didn't see that until I was looking at it before. See how it sort of puts off your nice stacked up chain one spaces and then it sort of it throws it out a bit. So make sure you are doing your double crochet and your chain one. Oops. I want to repeat this all the way around like we have been doing before and we're going to keep going until we get up to round 25 because on round 26 we're going to do something different. So I'm just looking back make sure my chain one spaces are there and that looks pretty good. But like I said this is just a practice piece for me so I'm not worried that that's not there because it's going to get recycled for something else. Because I already have my awesome blue and is that a spearmint green one? That's awesome. Right, so I'm going to do a couple of rounds of the pink and then I'm going to show you what to do. But you will be going up to round 25 and I will see you when we are ready for that. We are now up to round 26 and you will have more rounds than I will. Like I said, just making a small piece. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to work a chain one and work half double crochets. So it... Um, so it looks the same as it did when we very first started. And we're going to half double crochet into the chain ones and also the double crochets. You can work into the chain one space or into the actual chain one itself. It says in the pattern just into the chain. So chain one. And I'm going to work a half double crochet in there that's what I would just normally do if I was making a pattern up. Just gives it a nice start off and when you join you'll join back to the top of the half double crochet there. I'm going to go into the chain space Oops. into the chain sorry into the chain not the chain space. That would probably work too though. It's probably going to be easier. Then into the top of the double crochet and into the chain. Oh, there we go. It must have been the first chain that was just a bit awkward. Top of the double crochet, top of the chain, into the stitch. So the chain is just like there. top of the double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way around so pause the video and I'm going to meet you when we're ready to join so it's looking really nice when we get back around we're going to slip stitch the very first stitch here so the half double crochet not the chain one that's not counting as a stitch so in there and then pull through with your yarn and we can cut off about two to three inches and sew in our ends somewhere there is a yarn needle but it seems to have ran away so <laughs> you know how to do that I'm sure you know how to do that by now so that works that's pretty cool too isn't it you could make yourself a bracelet to go with your your cow I love these two colours together. For some reason it's reminding me of ice cream. Does that mean I'm hungry? Here is my finished cowl and this is the one I used two strands of 
double knit or eight ply yarn which is a category three yarn I will put a link below if you want to find out what yarn I used but this cow is big it's bold and it's awesome I love these two colors together as you know I do like blue and I am a fan of green as well hope you enjoyed making this cow please share your creation on our Facebook page you can also tag me on Instagram I would love to see your creations I'd love to see the color combinations that you have used as well I'd like to say a huge thank you to redheart.com for supplying the yarn that I've used in this video tutorial I'd also like to say another huge thank you to Selena for allowing me to use her pattern all the links that you need are in the description box thanks for watching and until next time happy crochet you can find it on simply collectible crochet you can find it on slim simply <laughs> for allowing me to use the thick